First off, we'd like to thank everybody for showing up and coming. Um, we decided to do this all together because we all came in together, class of 2017. Uh, we all felt uh, we made a change together and felt this decision uh, needs to be made to everybody together uh, as one. Uh, Cali Flock, uh, including Jordan, he's an honorary member. Uh, but with all do uh, say for me, uh, I'd just like to thank the University of Oregon for everything they've done for me. It's uh, been such a blessing, a lot of childhood dreams to come true. I always tell my dad as a kid, I was a winner pack to a championship. I was able to do that. Um, didn't think I was doing the colors I did it in, but uh, no less than anything, thank you, Oregon, for all that. But with all that being said, I'd like to announce that um, I'm coming back for my senior year. I got one more season left to go in Alton, so let's just see what we got to do, Duck Nation. <laughs> I would like to thank the University of Oregon. I want to thank my family, friends, you know, the relationships that we built over the years. And with that being said, I'll be returning for my senior year. Thank you, Oregon. <laughs> uh, I just want to thank University of Oregon. Uh, I graduated this year. Big accomplishment for me and my family. Uh, it's always been my dream to go to the NFL, but I think I'm going to come back for my senior season, finish out on the right note. Um, like like they all said, you know, I have a lot to be thankful for, but uh, Coach Chris Ball and the University of Oregon, it was just like, it was just the biggest blessing that I could ever ask for. And, you know, after, you know, talking to, you know, the NFL committee and having a bunch of meetings with Coach Chris Ball, you know, we decided that, it would be best for me to come back from my senior season as well because one more year won't hurt. And I feel like there's going to be a lot of learning for me to do and a lot of chances and opportunities for me to mature and grow in my game. For each of you, can you speak to what you want to improve on in returning for your senior season? Let's go left to right. All right. Uh, for me, one thing I want to improve on uh, is to be able to show everybody um, I'm as fast as I am. Uh, take away lazy habits that I have um, and just become a better teammate and a leader I can possibly be to make sure the guys below me know exactly the culture that we help create here and, and create this dominance so Oregon doesn't dominate from now on but dominate for forever. Uh, for me, I, um, I would say my maturity and growing as a leader and off coverage. <laughs> One major area I think I need to grow in is pass rush. So that's what I'll be working on all off season. Uh, for me, one of the, like Jordan, um, I need to improve on my pass rush game and also be more consistent on taking on like the, the run blocks and just being more dominant. So, you know, we could show everyone that the Pac-12 is, is not just about offense. And, you know, we could, we could show them we have a chance that, you know, being one of the greatest D-lines. So that's one of my... One of my things that I feel like I need to work on the most, you know, come back and be dominant. We're on the right, Ryan. Uh, for Jordan specifically, given that you already have your degree and you guys won the Rose Bowl in the Pac-12, what specifically academically and or football goals do you still have at Oregon? Uh, yeah, getting my degree was like one of my biggest accomplishments. But once I found out my brothers was coming back, I thought it would be the right thing to go one more time and. I think the biggest goals for me on and off the field this year is start taking my life more serious in terms of uh, football. And uh, I'm going to look into some, some master's classes, but mostly focus on football for coming back. Right here in the middle, AJ. Uh, well, this for anyone that wants to answer, but if no one wants to, then Austin. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know, last year, Justin coming back, Troy Dye coming back, did that have any influence and in any part of your thinking on that example they set coming back? Um, yeah, I, I definitely feel like the, they set an example, you know, coming back. Because, you know, everybody, I like, I heard a bunch of stories, you know, some guys leave early and, you know, it wasn't the right time. Like, for me, I felt like it's all God's timing and you don't have to rush anything. So I feel like one more year for anybody won't, won't hurt them, you know, because you get an extra year. I, feel, I take it as an advantage. You know, you come back, you work on all the things that you need to work on. So, you know, you could possibly go higher in the draft and, to me, that's just all signs of, you know, you just come back. So I feel like they, they like seeing that happen definitely helped me, my decision coming back because, you know, they're both really good players and seeing them come back is, you know, just in my mind, there's no doubt me coming back. So that's that's one of the reasons why I came back. 
Second row on the left here, Eric. For Thomas and Diamador, just looking at this defensive backfield, you guys have to be really excited with the developments of, of guys like Brady at the end of the season, the, the additions you have in this recruiting class. Mikhail, just talk about how good you guys can be next year back there. Uh, it's, it's, it's very good. Um, definitely, like, as soon as Mikael kind of pulled up on campus, I already knew he was good just because I played against him when I was in high school. And he was a sophomore, I was a senior, and I was just like, I told uh, Jay, uh, Jay Vaughn, because I met his brother through an uh, official visit I took, I told him, I was just like, hey, I don't know who this little dude is, but he's going to be amazing. But now he's my teammate. It's, it's great. Uh, makes you practice harder every day, day in, day out. Seeing Brady step up just makes it to where our depth at the safety position gets even higher with Javon Holland, Verone stepping up already, Nick there. It's just it's just amazing to have like other people in the room to where you know if you mess up in practice, you're getting taken out and somebody else is going in. And now you got to prove yourself right back up. It's just a com competition. And for me, I love competition. I'm never running from it. Yeah, um, I would say I'm a competitive person also. So just having great players in in one one room, it just brings out the best version of everybody. Finger on the left, Maria. This is for no one in particular. So any one of y'all could answer it. Um, Justin and Troy obviously came back last year in athletics in general. You had a player like Sabrina Ionescu decide she was going to uh, forego the WNBA for another year to enjoy her senior year. What makes Oregon so special that players who can go and kind of start their professional career early decide they want to come back to Eugene, they want to be a part of their programs for another year? I want to say, like, uh, Coach Chris Ball and, you know, all the coaches over here, they, they uh, mentioned – they always mention, you know, brotherhood and like, you know, that you're never going to get these times back with the teammates that, and the friendships that you've made. So, like, I know with me, I, I know that if I was to, if I were to leave early, I would never get these moments back with my with my brothers. And, you know, I love all of them dearly. And just coming back and playing with them one more time is just the best for me. So I want to say those experience like Sabrina, I feel like, you know, she made a bunch of connections with her teammates and coming back for her is, is huge because she has a bunch of relationships that she knows is important and that you got to cherish those moments. So that's that's one of the reasons why I think coming back is very important. Uh, for me, I feel like I rushed my high school like graduation because I didn't go to graduation. I came straight here and I didn't do none of the grad activities. So I just wanted, once I found out my teammates was coming back, same class as me, I was like, I might as well just enjoy my senior year with my friends. So. Uh, I think that's, like Austin said, the biggest thing is relationships outside of football and, and on the team. It, uh, Eugene is a very special place, and uh, the people that all of us deal with all help to contribute. The Jaqua, the staff here, uh, the weight room staff, it's just, it's just a family, so it makes the decision real easy. Good. Yuri, are you here? All right. Yeah, guys. Uh, just about your, can you just talk about your parents' role and were they pretty uh, elated to hear this? Were there mixed emotions generally? Or uh, for me, um, my mom, <laughs> my mom was extremely happy. Uh, a lot of things I do, uh, my dad was too. My dad really was kind of in the boat to where you decide to go, you decide to go no matter what. I'm supporting, just do you um, and make sure you get your degree. I graduate this winter, so that's like a very big blessing. My family, I'm the first male to graduate college, so coming back just solidifies that. And it's a very amazing feeling. Uh, my mom doesn't never got to have her mom there for all these experience she received past age 18. So a lot of things I do is just to make sure she be able to get the experience. So I want her to be able to, my last game at Austin Stadium, be able to walk out this summer, go down there, come down there, and actually see me graduate with an actual degree, um, not just a paper and saying you have credit stuff to do. So just certain stuff is just to be able to make sure she gets to be able to see that with her own son. Um, My family... Uh, they were they were going to support whether I came out or came back to college. But for me, my biggest thing was I wanted to get my degree before I leave here. Uh, my family was either way they was going to support me because my mom told me that I had to get my degree before I could go to the NFL anyway, so. <laughs> <laughs> My, my my parents were like Jordan's. Uh, my mom, well, they lean more towards me staying because I, I mentioned to them, you know, I want to I wanna pursue. I wanted to like, you know, they knew that the NFL was my dream ever since I was a little kid. But my, like Jordan said, my mom was like, no, you, you have to come back and get your degree. And then she even bought up my master's. 
and that's even more schooling. So I was like, <laughs> Mom, I, I mean, I'm, I want to do it, but the NFL has been my, has been my <laughs> dream. So if I have a chance of doing that, I'm going to go for that. But definitely getting my degree and, uh, you know, coming back for school was a big thing for them. So because, you know, that piece of paper was worth the, was worth all the money in the world. So that's one of the main things, come back, getting my degree. So my parents supported me with that. We're going to go next, James here in the middle, and then Matt next to him. Sure, Don, just because before the Rose Bowl, you weren't sure exactly academically what you were looking for. You mentioned you're looking into master's classes. Uh, just from a process standpoint, since the quarter's underway, what are you, what's your status? What are you looking into? And how much did you enjoy the, the time home? You tweeted out the picture of your degree and, and your mom's reaction to that. Just how important was that week to you? Uh, it means a lot to me. First, I'm the first person in my family to graduate from college. I'm her first child to graduate from college. And uh, I'm the youngest, so... She uh, caught me crying and all that, but it was a good accomplishment. And I think that it's just all the hard work on and off the field, showing up in, showing up in the classroom on time and all that stuff. So uh, it, was, it was pretty emotional, but at the same time, I know that that's just like a milestone that comes with playing football in college and chasing his dream, so. This question would be for any of you four. You've all started at Oregon for the last two or three years on this defense. Coming back for your fourth year, what do you just feel like the potential of this group can be? I think a couple of you have said you want Oregon to be known for their defense while they've been known historically for their offense. Just kind of what your what are your thoughts on this group? Um, a main thought for all of us, uh, I know, is just being dominant. Um, and the only way you can be dominant is be consistent. So. I feel, at least for on my end, um, I want them to correct me the days I come into practice and I don't come in and look like I'm working because we didn't come back for this, not to do that. Um, seeing Troy, Herbert, and all them uh, seniors that you wouldn't even think that step up, um, stepped up in so many different ways. Uh, Herb became way more vocal this year than he ever did. Um, and it started with the influence of his class and other teammates just telling each other they like to do that. So I just hope this last year with all of us that we all just come together as one and just say forget all our differences forget all that when you see me messing up you get on me vice versa so we can end off our senior year the way we want to otherwise we're gonna be sitting sad and looking like wow this is probably a bad decision i just made but <laughs> let's just make it to where we don't have that opportunity because we push each other to our limits no matter what we go reach goals we never set or in touch before uh, i just say that First, the recruiting class for our defense, second to none. So, you'll see. <laughs>